Hello, you know, if someone asks me what is the most innovative uh, company in the true wireless segment now, I'd probably say that it's Anker. Because of course we have a lot of big players like Sony, Sennheiser, uh, Apple and others, but uh, Anker is probably the most innova innovative uh, standalone company and they proved with their Soundcore line of products that they can create really interesting solutions. Some time ago I reviewed their uh, Liberty 3 Pro and it was a kind was a really interesting model offering uh, tons of good features for the uh, reasonable price. And now we have Liberty 4 but it's not a Pro model. And actually their uh, release price is uh, like $10 or $20 less than Liberty 3 Pro. But actually uh, Anker has uh, promotions right now and you can get Liberty 3 Pro with a pretty big discount for about $70, I've seen it on Amazon and this one has also a slight discount so it costs $130 so far. And uh, of course it's packed with different features, a lot of them are pretty exciting and actually I think let's have a closer look. So, box is traditionally super stylish, so they have uh, high-res uh, wireless certification, their uh, signature technology ACAA, some, something related to the uh, coaxial double dynamic drivers. Yep, here used uh, two dynamic drivers. They have heart rate sensor, they have uh, custom active noise cancelling, they have up to 20, 28 hours total play time. So here you can see the uh, blow up chart of the dynamic drivers and here that heart rate sensor they, they put into the right earpiece. And on the back side we getting information about this ACAA 3.0, in-ear heart rate sensor, special audio for immersive sound, they have gyroscope so this uh, special audio should be with head tracking. And uh, here ID sound, they uh, ac uh, accommodate to your ear channel and up to 9 hours play time, but of course 9 hours it's without active noise cancelling and like not at the maximum volume. With active noise cancelling, depending on volume, you'll get about 5 or 6 hours, which in my opinion is also pretty decent uh, numbers. So, package opens uh, pretty simple this way. It, it, as usual, it's a stylish unfolder by, uh, by Anker. Here is USB cable for charging, quick start manual and uh, some warranty card or so. They have uh, three extra pair of tips, uh, also created for just for this model, so custom and unique. And here is case and actually earpieces. Let me pull it out. And you know what? Another reason for me to respect Anker, they definitely do their best to, to create a great design and actually set the maximum distance from the AirPods. So they, uh, even for the white version, they made maximum efforts to create a unique design. But also there is a uh, kind of violet version, black and some other fourth option. Sorry, don't remember. So here is the uh, uh, case itself, looks in my opinion absolutely stunning and actually it's probably the second base, best case after the AirPods Pro. They decided to make it sliding, but also as you can see it's not just slide uh, up, but it also bends a little bit down. So here used uh, some complex hinge and it has that pleasant feel feeling during slide. Of course I'd like a bit more uh, powerful click here, but still you know it's hard to stop from sliding up and down. Of course uh, there are magnets inside and you put ear pieces inside. As you can see uh, actually they blink uh, when you put them to show you the charge level. And if uh, light is glowing constantly it means that they are above 60 percent of charge so you put them here slide the lid back and they are not super slim but uh, pretty pocketable and nice and convenient to use so let's pull them out again slide box back 
and here they are. So they have sensor to detect that they are in your ear. They have some complex spouts, uh, so on the right earpiece it's because they put a hell, uh, actually, that uh, heart rate sensor, uh, but uh, uh, on the left one maybe it's also present, but uh, in the manual they've said that uh, to enable heart monitoring you need to have right earpiece uh, in your ears. Because you can, as traditionally for the true wireless models, you can listen to just one and uh, charge the second one in the case and then swap them. Also, as you can see, spouts have oval shape uh, and uh, actually they have two grills, so probably some complex uh, acoustics involved here. Maybe it's a microphone because they uh, declared that feature that they sense the sound in your ear channel too and accommodate based on that. So they packed it with tons of technologies uh, and they are comfortable, they hold well in ears and they have sensor control, you just need to squeeze them here to change tracks, navigate them and so on. So. In my opinion, they look uh, really cool, they fit into my ears really well, especially with pairing uh, with proper uh, tips. And also they have companion app that I will show you now, and also they hold connection pretty well, except of uh, that one situation where you uh, surrounded with a lot of Wi-Fi networks and Bluetooth emitting devices. There could be slight hiccups, but uh, it's common for all Bluetooth uh, devices. So, all exterior part, in my opinion, is superb. Of course, as well as many other modern applications, uh, Soundcore has a companion app, and here how it looks like. On main page you can control your music, uh, you can see some news, and you can uh, sign in to the Soundcore profile and actually they require it to work with health uh, fe related features. Not like a good idea to me, but anyway. Here they show the color of uh, your earbud, the photo and uh, charge level in uh, both uh, case and earpieces. And here are settings. You can select here, do you need wind noise reduction? You can run fit test, traditional, so uh, it will play some music and will tell if it's uh, fitting well or not. In air detection, you can turn it on and off, automatic pause, and you can recalibrate that. Uh, you can enable and disable dual uh, connections to the two devices. You can select uh, wearing tone uh, when you wear them and remove also you can select automatic power off you can select information about it update firmware and uh, get user manual here main control is ambient sound you can select uh, noise cancellation and you can uh, calibrate the, that uh, custom uh, active noise cancelling you need to be in the noisy environment to do that here is normal mode without any additional efforts and in transparency mode you can select vocal or fully transparent actually both both modes are working okay but it's not as good compared to for example airpods pro you still have a sense that uh, you like underwater or that you hear outside sound but transmitted through some device not as absolutely transparent but still nice performance same applies to active noise cancellation, it's uh, pretty good, especially with high frequency noise, but uh, some random and uh, mid frequency sounds are not cancelled that great compared to like leaders of this segment. But still, uh, for this price, it's uh, probably the best uh, active noise cancellation I've heard. Then you can customize controls for the left and right earpiece, you can select that. Uh, single press, double press and triple press. To, uh, for the controls you need to squeeze that stem from two sides where grooves are located on the stem and you can select uh, sensitivity of that uh, squeezes and also what is good, what I really like about the squeezes that they produce as 
uh, tiny click in your ear that allows you to understand that you already squeeze them properly. You can select different actions for that. I selected for single squeezes, changing volume for double press pause and uh, ambient sound toggle and triple is previous and next tracks. But you can customize it whatever you like. And here are sound effects. Uh, lot of things can be activated here. First of all, you can activate LDAC and after upon the activation, you, uh, they update firmware. Why it's made this way, I don't know, but they decide it's work this way. And after updating firmware, you can enable it and disable. Then you can select one of special audio features, fixed special audio and head tracking, and uh, they have two modes, music and movie. They uh, definitely increases uh, imaginary sound, sound stage from one hand, but from another I don't like that uh, they changes uh, sound signature pretty noticeably, sound became like uh, more lightweight and more like um, bodyless compared to the regular mode, but head tracking works uh, pretty well. But of course I'm comparing with Apple implementation in the AirPods, uh, so... In the movie mode actually you can get more powerful low frequencies, but at the same time uh, in this mode they tend to overemphasize a little bit low frequencies, probably to make different uh, explosions and other stuff in movies sound uh, better. Also you can select your own custom mode, you can select your favorite music genre and you can uh, pass special test where it's traditional, you've probably seen that. Uh, they will ask do you hear sounds of different volume or not for different frequencies and it will calibrate to your hearing. And uh, then uh, you ha you'll have to select six times which of two versions of music you like and based on that they build uh, some profile of your preferences and your ears uh, frequency response, let's name it so. And actually making it's making sound really a bit more clean and crisp uh, to your ears. But you can uh, uh, change it on top of that. Uh, uh, so here is initial curve update by testing. You can uh, get custom equalization over that curve. And you can select uh, basically what type of signature you like based on that custom like their own signature that they offers classical music, podcasts, electronic and many many other types of sound that you can select so you can spend really a lot of time playing here and getting uh, different sound signatures and of course you can equalize, equalize sound you can just use some custom equalization here or you can get their own default sound core signature, so you can combine different uh, types of sound and stuff. And here is sound core wellness, uh, so you can start exercise in the application and they will measure your heart rate. And actually it shows like 57, 55 BPM and uh, it's pretty consistent with what my arm, arm band measures. Also, they like trying to calculate my stress level based on that. Not sure how it correct, but nice feature is the posture. So if you tilt your head back and forth or other sides, you can see that angle of tilt and you can get notifications if you like looking too up or too down. So you can see normal, medium, all like very high. You can also calibrate that and uh, get reminders of that. And here is like uh, what your habitual posture and levels of neck strain. Uh, actually based on your wearing, uh, they inform you how often you bend your neck. I am sitting at my table looking a bit uh, down because I am looking at camera screen. So interesting statistics and interesting information to get. You know, it's uh, more useful than I've expected here. So as you can see, companion app is pretty detailed and offers a lot of different customizations. 
and uh, instead of adding uh, that feature like we will detect where you are and change your equalizer transparency settings instead of that useless thing uh, sound core uh, or actually anchor decide decided to make the sound core uh, companion app and earphones much more useful here is a traditional microphone test i am recording this part of the video with uh, ear pieces in my ears I won't apply here any gain correction or equalization, so it will give you an idea of how their microphone sound in the quiet environment. And also I must admit interesting thing that uh, signal delay is really low here. Usually when I'm testing microphone I'm getting a bit of delayed sound in the earphones, uh, but here it's just uh, instant, so it doesn't uh, affect my speaking. And definitely we have to talk about the sound and uh, of course uh, I'll be telling about the sound in that sound core profile uh, default mode without adaptation to my ears, without special audio and other things. So basically what they were set from the box, uh, the only difference of course I activated LDC codec to get the maximum quality. And uh, they are pretty different from the Soundcore 3 Pro, uh, Liberty 3 Pro in terms of signature. They are more, uh, they have less uh, deeper bass, more accent here in on the mid bass, and in general bass accent here is moderate. They're not trying to be bass heavy, but they have a noticeable elevation in the treble area. But let's talk about everything step by step. So, bass has a good depth, uh, but main accent here is made on the mid-low uh, frequencies, not on the deepest layers. Deep bass, of course, as deep as it's possible with wireless codecs, is present, but uh, uh, mid bass is dominating over the lowest frequencies. So, it produces nice rumble, but not like that super uh, pumping, super uh, uh, growling low frequencies. Resolution is uh, good for the wireless, normal compared to wired headphones, nice uh, sense of realism, a bit lacking in texture, in textures rendering, it uh, softens them a little bit, but still everything sounds pretty well balanced. And uh, both natural instruments and uh, electronic mu music will sound good, but it's a matter of preferences, of course. Uh, to my ears, they more suited to the uh, live instruments uh, because for electronic music you probably like more deep uh, bass rumble and uh, more tight uh, bass and more impactful. But uh, here it's more balanced and sounding more organic. But uh, anyway, for example, if we take uh, Prodigy Breeze. Uh, it's great in terms of representing mid frequencies uh, and uh, pretty okay for the low frequencies. But uh, compared to some more basic models, of course, uh, you'll get less of that rumble and presence. And actually, for example, uh, Liberty 3 Pro, they have more uh, deeper bass, so they sound more rumbling and powerful. But probably let's uh, postpone comparisons until the next part of the video. Mid frequencies actually pretty good, well balanced, nice detailization, and they are not shadowed by the low frequencies. But uh, upper mids a bit shadowed by the higher frequencies because uh, treble here is a bit uh, spiky and uneven. And uh, but uh, when record is not super bright, uh, it sounds okay. You'll get uh, pretty nice resolution with uh, above, uh, slightly above average uh, uh, imaginary stage, both in width and in depth. Detalization is nice, of course, uh, but not going into the micro contrast because it's not uh, really smart to make uh, uh, micro detail focused. Uh, signature for the true wireless earbuds, because in this case you'll hear uh, all that artifacts of lossy codecs. And uh, I like uh, how they represent vocals, uh, instruments depending on the kind of instrument, uh, if they fitting more in the mid-range they are good, if they going uh, higher to the treble area it sounds a bit uh, 
uh, shout is can sound a bit shouty sometime you can actually reduce treble with equalizer and it will help with perception but out of the box uh, tonal balance shifted a bit uh, towards the treble area will uh, grab your attention and uh, as an example for the mid frequencies uh, i've got uh, what i've got uh, oh it's the doors light my fire and of course uh, first main place is vocal here and it sounds really good recognizable with all nuances you can expect and the instrumental part is also represented nicely but some uh, high notes of synthesizer that hitting in the treble area will be a bit uh, more energetic than uh, i'd prefer and probably you too and the treble it's uh, more boosted than mid and bass and actually it's uh, the place where they go a bit of off balance because uh, treble is slightly more energetic than i'd like uh, or actually you know for that uh, level of treble you'll need a bit more bass in this case they will be more v-shaped but at the same time lows and high frequencies will be more in balance and uh, they have normal extension and the uh, treble is a bit uneven you get that uh, sense you'll uh, hear that uh, there are some peaks and uh, spikes in the treble area and because of that they have some sense of uh, some places where they sound a bit too resonant and uh, depending on your ears uh, uh, sensitivity areas and depending on the genre they can be a bit too bright but uh, with equalizer you can reduce it so it's not a big issue in this case because uh, sound here is anyway dsp processed and uh, in general pretty nice resolution for treble and nice attacks in the case of course not don't expect some rich layering or something like that but still uh, that's the treble and as an example, here I use the Mars Volta, Iliena, really like this track, uh, when I first heard it, it like scared me because it sounds like some distorted sound and I thought that something uh, went wrong with my digital to analog converter, but then I understand that it's just a special effect they wanted to use. And in general, main part of this track is typical uh, Mars Volta with the uh, sense of uh, a uh, bit of madness and with a lot of uh, percussions and actually percussions sound uh, simplified here they lacking body body they lacking extension but at least they not sound too shouty so in general nice signature except of uh, pretty uneven treble but you can get rid of that with some equalization but uh, you know honestly it became pretty harsh when it comes to the compersions because for now you can get uh, liberty's repro for 70 dollars from amazon and actually it's like huge advantage you for lower price you getting sound that sounds better to me of course uh, liberty 4 is uh, better in terms of noise cancelling in terms of transparency with all that exercise features special audio is nice uh, great engaging feature but when we come to the sound uh, 3 pro is like more tighter on bass more defined on the mids and uh, slightly more balanced on the treble giving you more engaging sound signature so the main question here is do you need all that modern stuff or not if you if you need it then it's a good true wireless model or you can probably wait uh, maybe in some future they will release uh, liberty 4 pro uh, but if you like looking for the best uh, sound to price value for 70 dollars it's <laughs> liberty 3 pro is just like no-brainer solution at least to me and for example also in this segment we have uh, Fio's uh, true wireless model what was that index uh, FW5 or I may, I may be wrong but uh, I re reviewed them some time ago also and uh, Fio offers hybrid model and they offer they don't have that fancy features with tracking mobile uh, uh, heart rate measurement and other stuff but instead you getting uh, like a more mature sound with bigger bass with 
more control base with deeper base and with uh, balanced armatures on mid frequencies and treble so better in terms of sound but in general really interesting model that was uh, fun to test thank you for listening thank you for your attention and of course have a great day